was totally influenced by the bad girls. If you know who I'm talking about, then you want to stay tuned to see what I got. Because of them. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I, as I said already, I'm blaming the bad girls. And those are Yoda, Style, Eva from Fuchsia Floyd, Cammie from Cammie's Closet, and Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture. They have unboxed several of this brand, the MZ Wallace. So I had to see for myself, I've never owned a MZ Wallace bag and I have never ordered from The Real Real either. So I signed up for uh, the new client uh, discount on this bag. So I was heavily influenced to try out these nylon bags, okay? So I'm going to unbox this a little further back so you can see it for what I, I already looked at it and I totally have never seen a video on this print. Uh, so I assumed it was one thing and I'm going to ask you if you did too once you see it because I have never seen a review on it, uh, this print. Now the style is not new. I'm going to just go ahead and show you what I unboxed and at first I was like, this is not what I ordered and you'll see in a sec. So it came in the real real dust bag and I'm just gonna take it out the dust bags kind of crunchy <laughs> and it only came with the dust bag and it was in pristine condition on the real real so I it's basically a new bag and I'm gonna scoop back just so you can get a look at it from far away you like my shirt <laughs> And here it is. I did some research after the fact. Well, before the fact and after. And I wanted to show you the bag. Can you see what I'm seeing? And this is called, after research, the MZ Wallace Sequin Spangle Metro Shoulder Bag. From this far back, it looks like you have a ton of sequins and even online I'll pop up the picture of what I saw I thought <laughs> I thought it was a nylon bag covered in sequins I'm you know <laughs> and that let me bring you let me show you the back real quick so you can kind of see there's the bottom and uh now let me just move forward here is the bag up close <laughs> and here you can see that this actually right here is nylon and the stitching is the sequins let me move it back and then there is the mz wallace logo right there and then here is the side but from far away, I literally thought that this was a sequin bag. <laughs> so at first I was like, this is not what I ordered. And so you can see that this is just their print. The spangle sequin, the sequins are actually in between here with that cross stitch right there. Here's the bottom of the bag, upside down. <laughs> MZ Wallace and the... I think Vachetta leather, and then here's the top, and the zipper pull here. You know, there's no watermarks. I mean, it is pristine. It has a chunky kind of zipper. So, again, I was completely shocked because I hadn't seen any reviews on this print. So I just assumed that it had sequins everywhere. Um, but the, the more I thought about it, I'm like, do I really want an all sequins bag necessarily? Because those tend to come off if they were all sequins. 
So instead they have the clear, you know, stitching that makes the illusion that you have a full sequin bag. I really thought after, you know, I thought it was wrong considering like really this is actually awesome. <laughs> An awesome concept. I just want to move up close again so you can see that's just the fabric. And, and you can see the sequins that are in between. So really cool. Uh, nice shoulder drop. I'm into, you know, a smaller type bag lately anyway. And the nylon is, I hope, durable. <laughs> Now let's look inside. Yeah, a real nice smooth zipper. I didn't even get a receipt in my dust bag. And it comes with this pouch. I think a lot of their bags come with these pouches that you can put your makeup or your essentials that you chapstick or whatever. And I didn't take this off yet. So it was partially wrapped <clears throat> when, and there's the, even the Vachetta on the little pouch, which I think is a nice touch with the MZ Wallace. It detaches, so you can either attach it to your bag or take it off. And we'll just take it off for right now. And here's the interior. It has one slip pocket with a light gray interior so you can see your things. There's the MZ Wallace logo. And it has just the one zip pocket on the other side. Inside the zipper pocket has two individual slip pockets. So you have the openness of the zipper but yet you could put maybe a card case if you wanted extra security zip that up. Put that in there as well. Oh, that's a cool zipper. Here's the uh, zipper pull. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my finger out of the way, but that's the zipper pull for the inside. That's kind of neat. Which is, you know, that triangle, two triangle shapes put together on each side. That's the, the zipper pull. So that's cool. I like that feature. And the interior is soft and nylon in, uh, itself. So let me give you some measurements of this cute little Metro shoulder bag so you'll know. And <laughs> I'm glad to do this review because I wonder if other people, honestly, from way back here, or you, you think this is all sequins. <laughs> So it is 11 across by 7 up and down. And the drop is anywhere from 8 to, you know, 10 because it can kind of push in. So let me show you what it looks like on my body. And I'm 5 foot 6, average build. <laughs> Ish. Oh, that's cute. It fits nicely over the shoulder. Let's do it again. Perfect. 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 Yep. So I forgot to mention that this is actually gold hardware right here. And on the website for the Metro shoulder, this is Italian leather. So they have little bits of leather in different spots. And then, of course, the, the bottom. But yeah, this is super lightweight. Super lightweight. I think, you know, it's going to be a comfortable carry, for sure. This would get, could go with jeans, or honestly, you could probably dress it up a little bit. And this, this strap here is really soft. It's going to be comfortable. Underneath, there's the padding. Yeah, would you really want sequins poking your shoulder or your arm? <laughs> no. 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 I wouldn't. So let's uh, see what we can fill this cute spangle metro shoulder up with. The tags were actually inside 
And here's the real real tag pre-owned, which actually I don't I'm not sure anyone actually used it. And I was right, it is called the Metro shoulder bag and at the time it was let me get that in focus a hundred and eighty five dollars and the size is small spangle sequin so you don't see very many of these of this pattern so let's just put some stuff in it so you're gonna need keys and I thought about using this wallet because of the brown and the all the colors. That looks cute. Use that wallet, my coach wallet. Pepper spray. My mirror. My battery charger for my phone. And my new case. This is the 15 Pro Max. And then let's use this little pouch for my catch-all. And it's a nice detail that they actually put leather uh, on this zipper pull as well and on this on this little pouch. Nice. And I didn't fill it up, but we get the idea here. So here's what that looks like. It holds quite a bit of stuff. Let me get this side. I could even throw in probably another pouch if I wanted to or extras, but this is what it looks like stuffed. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. At first I was like, what did I just spend? Oh, I didn't tell you the price. So it was, again, it was in pristine condition. They wanted originally $220, and then there was the discount of 20% off, which put it at $180, which I thought was a lot for a nylon bag. And then I got an additional $25 off, I want to say. I could be wrong, but if you ever look at MZ Wallace bags, they're not they're not cheap and if you get a special print like this it's actually more <clears throat> like the tag said 185 the actual plain print like just a solid color is 165 on their website so when you get you know a little bit more rare i guess design then it's going to be costing you a little more i am really pleased with this <laughs> I, I really like it and thank you to the bad girls influence because this probably won't be my last. I hope I didn't pay too much. I think I paid around 170 you know dollars for it because you have to pay, I had to pay shipping so it came really fast from the real real and I had never ordered from them before. so I I'm a, I was a little nervous because I hadn't but it turns out, it is pristine and it is really cute. It's totally my vibe right now. The perfect size, fits all my essentials, a awesome shoulder drop. On the website it says nine inch drop, perfect drop, shoulder drop. So yep, here's my new MZ Wallace bag. And I probably won't be, uh, probably won't be my last. <laughs> So thank you all for influencing me. <laughs> On another note, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you like this kind of content, you know, you're a handbag lover of price ranges from $20 all the way up to, you know, $1,400, then you're at the right place. And you need to subscribe, hit the bell notifications so you won't miss my videos and you'll get to see all kinds of eye candy as well and if you have any questions or reviews you want me to do then feel free to leave them down in the comments but what do you all think of this bag <laughs> did you think it was all sequins you gotta let me know because really from a distance and I and I turn it with the the lights, you can see the, 
the sequins. <laughs> so very clever, MZ Wallace, very clever. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, bye! Every time I film, I gotta sneeze.